Uh, let's see if it loads. So uh, you might be wondering what you're seeing right now. You're looking at uh, what my watch can see. So this is uh, my watch, and it's actually live broadcasting to the internet. Anyone in the world can see this, and that's why you can see my hand and I'm holding it like this. I think doing a live broadcast from the from a a wearable device sort of sets a good standard of how powerful it is. When I looked at Google Glass, the first thing I thought was journalism. It's it's probably the best use case, at least in my opinion. And I can take a photo within a split second by just saying, okay, Glass, take a picture. It happens, and then I can tap and share, and it's out. It overheats very quickly. If I need to pick, take a picture or a video of my friends, there's no reason I can't pull out my phone and just, uh, I don't even know what my phone is now. Okay, Glass, take a picture. Okay, glass, take a picture. Okay, glass, take a picture. When, uh, let me pull out something for you guys here. This this backpack is full of crazy gadgets and gizmos. So this is a Galaxy S3 and an iPhone 5. They're both equipped with the OtterBox Defender case so that I can drop it and it'll be completely fine. This is a PS3 controller that I actually used to fly the drone when I'm running a live stream. This box right here attaches to a any camera with an HDMI output. By all means, come talk to me and. And if you want to try glass, I'll, I'll go do it, but without further ado, let's fly some robots. Okay, glass, take a picture. 